each of our top 12 candidates here in the question and answer portion. Each of our candidates will pick a question from this poll and they'll be given 30 seconds to answer. Once they hear this, that means your time is up. So begin. Let's begin with batch number one. Our first candidate is candidate number seven, Sarah Koso. Your question is, in this day of modern technology, what is that one thing you would wish for in order to make our lives easier? Good evening, everyone. Well, to this day of modern technology, the one thing that I would wish for our lives to be better is to use it wisely and smartly for us to be able to do things greatly for the better future. Thank you and good evening again. Thank you, candidate number seven. Number five, Ariane Kaling. Your question is, which significant event in your life influence you the most and why? Last year, I had the opportunity to live in Bangkok, Thailand. And it was there that I realized my true calling in life, my passion in life, which is to be an international human rights lawyer. I know that I would like to fight for justice worldwide. And furthermore, I created, a bank, I created a scholarship program in Bangkok, and that has truly led me to love being an educator. Thank you. Thank you. Our next candidate in the question and answer portion is candidate number 13, Catriona Green. Your question is, when you get up in the morning and look in the mirror, what do you see? I see someone who is constantly trying to be better. I always uh, endure to always be better than the day before, to do things that challenge me, to do things outside the box. And something that is very fulfilling that I have found is when I look in the mirror and I want to see someone who gives back to the community. And that's someone who I achieve to be every single day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next candidate is candidate number two. Sheena Saldivar. What do you think is the biggest influence of social media to the youth? To me, the biggest influence of the social media to the youth is to think wisely. And in this Miss World Philippines can influence through social media to be a beauty with a purpose. Not just a, only a beauty queen, but a beauty, a woman with a purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Candidate is number 24, Yuri Kauka. Your question is, in what way has joining Miss World Philippines changed you as a woman? Being able to join in a pageant is a big um, honor and privilege. 
And now studying in front of you made me boost confidence, I boost my confidence and self-esteem and being able to inspire people means a lot to me and it gives a huge impact in my life. Thank you, that's all. Thank you. Candidate number 21, Mara Munoz. Your question for tonight is, if there's a sector in society that does not appreciate the value of beauty pageants, what would you tell them? If there will be a sector that doesn't want beauty pageant, I will show the sector how important a beauty pageant is. I will show him or her that beauty pageant is not all about showing how beautiful we are in the outside, but all about how beautiful we are in the inside. Thank you. Thank you. With candidate number 12, Ara Salientes. question for tonight is, what do you think is the biggest challenge that beauty queens face in this day and age? Personally, for me, my biggest challenge in joining this beauty pageant is weight loss. Because at the beginning of this pageant, I weighed 150 pounds and now I am now down to 115 pounds and from 27 I'm now down to 25 and I do believe in the saying that there's nothing such as impossible only I am possible thank you thank you next up is candidate number 23 Ralph Sean Question, what did you give up in order to participate in Miss World Philippines? I think the thing that I would give up is my pride. Because in order to give up my pride, I can order to give up, I mean give in what I have, which is to serve the Miss World Philippines. And in order to serve Miss World Philippines, I will definitely share my advocacy, which is to improve the livelihood of our fishermen. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is candidate number eight, Sandra Limono. question for tonight, which charitable institution would you choose to support and why? An organization that takes care of the elderly or an orphanage that looks after abandoned children? Good evening everyone. Well, I will choose the abandoned children and that's why I am doing right now. I am supporting Tahanan Nag Pagmamahal and it's my advocacy to support them in Pasig City, my hometown. So I would choose the orphanage. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Candidate number 18, Ivana Pasis. question for tonight is would you be willing to spend one whole year without access to the internet why or why not 
Thank you for that question. I think I can survive a whole one year without the access and the internet because if our past generation has done that and has experienced that, then why not can you experience that in this generation? Thank you. Thank you. Please take center stage candidate number 10, Christine Lopez. What piece of advice would you give to victims of cyberbullying? I think the best advice I would give to cyberbullying is, um, I mean, the best advice I would give to cyber, to cyberbullying is, um, is, um, um, I'm sorry. Okay. I think the best advice I would give, I would give to cyber bullying is to love your mother. Definitely on, and some girls are feeling it, huh? Candidate number four, Aliana Kagandahan. If you were given a chance to acquire a superhuman ability, what would it be and why? Good evening, world. If ever I would have the chance to have a superpower, that would be the ability to provide everything that I want. Because if I would be given the chance, I will give chance to the poor, to those in need. As much as possible, I will help those who are in need so that we can make the society better, help each other, and love one another. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, to our top 12. Please give them a round of applause. It's not easy answering questions up here. Ladies, you need to relax for now. We are getting closer and closer to finding out on who will be the next Miss World Philippines. But for now, I turn you over to Rachel and Lauren.